Surya Namaskar A. We will start off with the sun salutes to warm the body up. Inhale, arms up over your head, look at your thumbs, bend over to a forward bend. Head up, inhale, look straight, bend your knees. As you jump back, think about strengthening your back, chaturanga. To an upward facing dog, look high, up. To a downward facing dog, lift your hips and take five slow rhythmic breaths. As you jump up, bend your knees. Slowly jump up. Bend over to a full forward bend. And all this is all designed to warm the breath up, warm the sound of the exhale up as you start warming up the sun salute. Second sun salutation. Bend your knees, inhale, arms up over your head, stretch your knees, look at your thumbs. As you bow down, bow down to the earth, exhale. Head up, inhale, looking straight ahead, stretch that spine, look long. Chaturanga Dandasana, pull your navel in, strengthen your abs. To an upward facing dog, look. To a downward facing dog, back. Stepping the right leg up in the Virabhadrasana, lining your heels up, look up, bending over, exhaling, and get a sense of the momentum you're building in the second sun salute as you start to prepare the sound of the inhalation. Focus on the inhale in the second sun salute and the exhale in the Surya Namaskar A. As you're breathing, you want to get the breath to the same duration. The tempo of the inhale and the tempo of the exhale becomes the same duration. Bending your knees, the class begins warming up with Ukatasana. Down to Ardha Ukatasana, into Bakasana, which is the first time you challenge the wrist, Chaturanga shoulders, up, back to a downward dog, hips, stepping the right leg up, warming up the hips, warming up the sound of the inhale, which gathers one into inspiration, you breathe. Slowly start to go into Virabhadrasana B, and as you're breathing, tuck your tailbone under, as you climb into the triangle, Think about now we're strengthening your legs. So in the beginning of the class, the focus is on the legs. And as you're breathing, you're moving through your body like a combination lock that's designed to open up nerve centers and give one a sense of new energy. And now you're starting to feel a little lighter and you're ready to go into the first challenging elbow stand which gives you a sense of how you can learn to control your body weight. As you're breathing, listen to the sound of the breath. Look at the tip of your nose and jump in the chaturanga. To an upward dog, look. To the downward dog. And that was a transition that moves you to the next sequence of poses designed for your hips. Modification for the elbow stand is the dolphin, where you put your elbows on the floor, keep your head up off the ground, lift your feet, and look at your back foot and breathe and strengthen the shoulders. Stress causes problems of tightness and coldness in the shoulders, which produces weakness. And as you're heating up the body, it becomes more supple and more alive to start to function in a new way. The idea right now is, is that you're into the legs, <clears throat> stretching your spine. These are safe ways to go about stretching 
and there's no perfect way to stretch. You're just paying attention to what you feel as you go through the various positions that the rocket takes you in. From that, you gather more awareness of your oppositions as well as your strengths. And you build from your weakness so you sense that you're getting stronger and smarter every time you practice Ashtanga Yoga. These poses in the Parsarita series are designed to stretch your back safely because your hips are open. As you're breathing, you're focusing every week on your spinal column to see how it grows. As it grows, it opens up your mind to new possibilities. As you go into the pelvic area, the somakanasanas, the hanumanasanas, you're stretching a part of the body that is a house for energy. It's a storehouse. It's at the base of your spine. This area is heated up and creates a lot of vitality for the mind and the body. As you're breathing, you're starting to feel your vitality increase 45 minutes into the routine. As you start to feel your vitality increase, you start to sense that you can manage your body weight or control your body weight to defy gravity and become one with the moment of moving breath and bandhas at the same time. And as you keep moving, you keep heightening your awareness to the sound of your breath. Moving into the shoulder exercises, as well as to stretch your psoas, we move into Parjvottanasana. This pose is designed to strengthen and stretch your shoulders, as well as stretch your psoas muscle, the muscle that keeps us together. And as you're breathing, you move into Pashasana, hooking into the Pashasana, Balancing your weight on one arm, you slowly lift the back leg back, the bottom leg under. You study the tip of your nose or your toes and you feel the sense of flying through the air as the strength keeps building. The breath keeps getting louder. The muscles start to stretch and strengthen and now they're functioning at an optimal level. It brings one into a sense of balance, concentration, control, as well as a deepening understanding of the quality of the breath in relationship to movement. You move. As you start to build this momentum, you get a sense of moving with ease and comfort. In this sequence, you're starting to manage your body weight. As you strengthen your core, you're feeling the strength of the advanced poses of the Ashtanga Yoga system. As a beginner, or as an intermediate student. Most of these poses that you will be doing at this point are poses that one would not be able to do anywhere outside its yoga as a beginner. We bring the advanced poses to beginners to create more strength, more flexibility, more control 
and more peace. You study the movement. As you move in different directions, you also create new possibilities and you direct the movement on where your strength naturally or organically takes you to without it being any effort, without it being any discomfort, you glide, moving with the force of the sound of the breath. As you're breathing, you're noticing now, here in the back sequence, that you're starting to feel light as a feather. And all your joints are opening and the blood is rushing quickly to the extremities. 